Okay, guys. We had a special visitor. Um, what day was that? Today's Friday. I guess that would be Wednesday, I think. Wednesday, the special visitor came to visit me at work, and you know who that is. I only get one special visitor at work, and that's VW Rich. Came to spend some time with me. We hung out for a couple hours, went to lunch. Uh, the favorite deli was closed. They were on vacation. So, you know it's mom and pop deli when they go on vacation and they close. But if you want real food that's quality and fresh, that's the place to go. So, I'll give them their two weeks. <laughs> but, um, make a long story short, we hung out for a while. Um, he stopped back today briefly. He ran to his daughter's house where he keeps his tools what's left of his tools because he doesn't really he doesn't do anything anymore pretty much came to his grandson um and he gave me this now if anybody doesn't know what this is you can see how flexible it is mm -hmm. this is to adjust the points and the end of it has that weird cut on it so you can come in at a you know at like a goofy angle so you can go in at all different angles and then bend it and do whatever you got to do and get it stuck in there uh, the handle is a little worse for wear this is where the conversation is coming in I'm sitting down the handle is all split and cracked probably from years of brake cleaner hitting it in the old days brake cleaner destroyed plastic uh, as I was coming in the garage earlier today with this this camera and something else in my hand the camera fell the piece fell and um, the handle broke in half and a piece fell out of it which I can't seem to find but I sweep this garage once a week on my hands and knees with a little brush yeah eventually there'll be no paint left but I'll be gone by then um, so basically I threw some tape around it to hold it together and the remaining pieces I'm just going to epoxy them together. This is a snap-on. It's supposed to be warranted for life. Do they have this? I doubt it. Would they supply me with a handle? I'm sure. But the point is, is if you change the handle, then it's no longer what Rich gave me. To me, to me, that's the point. You can see how it's split right across there. Uh, you can see the split coming through there. And then all in here, it's split. And like I said, here's the little piece that fell out. So with that, I put tape around the whole entire thing to hold it together so I wouldn't lose any more pieces. Um, I'd rather have it like this than with a new handle on it. So this is what we're going to use to adjust the, uh, the dwell. So thank you, Rich. Um, now I just got to dig out my little screwdriver for the points. And uh, we should be good to go. Um... Me playing with the carburetor and stuff like that up there, that's just fun. Just to, you know, I, today was just a day to just look back and say, okay, I've accomplished something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just enjoy it for a few minutes before more things go wrong. I like trying to get those hand mufflers on. Um, good thing I didn't pay full price for those hand mufflers. Because when, <laughs> when the five pound sledge came out, <laughs> I wouldn't have dented them. Um, so what was I going to say? So with that said, like I said, I'm just enjoying. Um, some things are more important to knock out like right away. Like I want to prime the engine. I want to, I got to get the oil. Um, I want to get the engine primed again, which I really don't have to do, but I want to make sure when I fire it, it has oil pressure immediately, even though this motor has about an hour runtime on it. Um, so it'll be nine fresh quarts of oil on there, you know, with the additive and stuff. I want to prime it. I want to take care of everything on that distributor. I want to put the sparkle wires on there. They're cut to length already and they have all the things on them. So I'm not going to have any leeway on where these wires are going to go. They're going to be where the last guy had them. But I, I'm pretty sure I don't have a coil wire. And I don't know where I want to put the coil. And I don't want to just start drilling holes in the sides of the car without the power steering pump being there. Um, so the power steering pump is going to be coming soon. I just want to do the fuel pump. 
but what's the next project on the car is the front end and putting it back down on the ground um so that's going to require me getting a couple of pieces at this point i'd like to get the rotors and calibers and rubber hoses for the front ball joints everything's tight on this car uh this car's got seventy thousand miles on it i've had it since twenty nine thousand um and it's not 129,000 it was 29 so this is a low mile car everything's tight on the front end the shocks are good i'd like to take them out and paint them though so they, so they have some kind of contrast when you look in the wheel well um but everything else is just going to be a basic clean i'm probably just going to i'm going to split the knuckle right at the upper control arm so the knuckle the spindle the calibers low control arm all that shit i could just take to work as an assembly clean it all up detail it and then bring it back and obviously i'm going to put new rotors and get another set of calibers for it um and then the upper control i'm gonna clean right in the car is the right thing to do all new bushings all new ball joints yeah am i doing it no um can i do that down the road absolutely there's no reason why i can't do it later i don't have to do it now i you know what i mean i don't have to make this a, a two hundred thousand dollar project that's going to go on for another five years um we are going to be losing garage space so i need this thing mobile so um i don't even know i'm going to cut corners i probably wouldn't have did them now anyway uh then after that we got a lot of wiring and hoses and piping to run so but when we get the fuel pump i am going to concentrate on firing this thing up in the car i just want to hear it kick off and i'm looking into a new radiator for it so whatever we buy is going to be for something else meaning another amc i can't find a listing for a concord just in a stock radiator and i don't want to put that in um the four mounting holes are the same on all cars so because i got this radiator this exact radiator because i bought two of them in my wagon right now um which is different than an amx and an american radiator they're the same width different height American radiator is shorter, AMX radiator is much longer. Uh, when you put an AMX radiator in, in an American, you actually see it on the bottom, sticking through on the bottom. But I think it's pretty cool. Um, I got room to just run the radiator straight down. So, um, probably just pick up an AMX radiator, be done with it, three core. That'll be the biggest thing that'll fit in here. So, and uh, yeah, just be done with that. I would like to put a factory fan on, but I'm having problems finding one for a realistic price. So we'll continue on and see what I can find. So I'm not spending $100 on a fan that could be bent. So, but the seven blade factory flex fan is a nice fan. That's what I got on my car. It keeps my motor cool. It's going to keep this cool. So with that said, guys, one last shot. I think it's cool. I think this going to look cool. We're not, still not looking down on it like it's going to be a cruise night. I think, uh, yeah, I think this is going to be nice. So, okay, guys, I'm out of here.